This Mustang weighs around 4,000 pounds. What I'd like to do is show the difference of losing a thousand pounds of weight and what it does to ET. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a pass with it at 4,000 pounds. I'll go over the car real quick and uh, we'll make, uh, we'll take out weight and see how it does. All right, for weight, I added a couple of small block blocks. I got everything tied down in the car. I've got weights in the back. Got the uh, batteries back here, a couple of starters, and uh, for an engine, we've got a crate engine, GM crate engine, 350, 330 horsepower rated. We're uh, we're all set. Let's uh, let's make a pass of 4,000 pounds. We'll take some weight out. All right, what I used to uh, test my uh, eighth mile pass there was a draggy. I've had really good luck with the draggy. When I tested the track, it was if, uh, within a few hundredths of a second. So it, it works good. That, uh, that eighth mile was equivalent to like a 1428 at 99 miles an hour. So this car's at uh, 4,000 pounds right now. Um, it's sitting pretty good. I've got the suspension uh, adjusted to handle that right now. And uh, back when I was uh, racing about 25 years ago, we just kind of ran what we had. So it would have been a 4,000 pound car would have been equivalent to our early 80s two door. Delta 88, that's actually a car that ran on the, on the street. And uh, uh, there was an F-150 Lightning, mid-90s, that was probably closer to 4,500 pounds, if not more. But it had um, a twin Gemini nitrous kit on it. So, all right, let's pull these blocks out and uh, get everything weighed up. We're going to take uh, at least 400 pounds out, and uh, then we'll test it again. Okay, I've got the two small block blocks taken out and two intakes taken out. Let's go ahead and get everything weighed and see how much we took out of the car. All right, first up is the 207 early 80s four bolt main block. Go ahead and jack it up. Right there is good, buddy. All right, we are off the ground and we are right at about 160. All right, now let's do the O10 block. Looks like 166. Six pounds difference between the two. Cast intake. Probably way less than the engine. Oh, we got uh, 39 pounds. We got the aluminum intake now. We got 15 pounds on the aluminum intake. Um, total of 380 pounds removed from the car. We are around 3,600 pounds in the car now. Still got the weights in the back. Let's make a pass with it and see how much ET we picked up. Right, the Mustang at 3,600 pounds, went at 876 at 82 miles an hour. That equals a 1380 and a quarter at 102. 3,600 pound vehicles I would have raced uh, 25 years ago. Uh, it was a big block Chevelle, weighed about 3,600 pounds. An IROC, third gen, with a big block, was about 3,600 pounds. So I've got another 300 pounds out of the car, and uh, 
let's go ahead and uh, see what the weights I've taken out weigh. All right, I've got 300 pounds of weight here. Let's see what actual 300 pounds of weight weighs. Go ahead, jack it up. All right, I've got the 300 pounds off the ground, and we are sitting at 306 pounds for the 300 pounds of weight. We also removed this toolbox that weighs 33 pounds. Um, we're at a total of about 3280 right now. Let's go make another pass and see how it runs at 3280. All right, the Mustang ran an 846 at 83.77, which equates to the quarter mile being a 1330 at around 104. Uh, some of the vehicles that I would have raced back in the day would have been your um, Fox Body Mustangs full interior, um, five speed 302s with nitrous. Uh, Small block uh, Camaros, 60s. Uh, other small block cars would have been in this range. So we're going to take uh, the rest of the weight out and make one final pass with it. All right, this is 323 pounds that I removed from the car for the final pass. The car is weighing in around 29.50. Right now, I did remove some additional things that I did not weigh, but I figured they had uh, around 10 pounds that I removed. But uh, some of these bigger batteries are 61 pounds. Uh, the large starter is 19 versus the small one, which is 8. The weights were actually right on the numbers of 20 pounds and 25 pounds. All right, let's make... Uh, let's make the final pass with the car and all right et at 2950 was an 825 at 87 miles an hour which is what this car would have been a 1290s quarter at 108 so we lost 1,050 pounds, and we took over a second. It would have taken a second, over a second off the quarter mile from 1420s to 1290s, and three quarters of a second from 90 to 8.25 off the eighth mile. So weight is a huge factor when it comes to these cars. And what made me think about this is uh, when I grew up street racing, um, everybody just ran what they had and we had all different kinds of cars that weighed significantly different. Uh, my car at the time was a Monte Carlo SS, which I stripped down pretty good. I was probably around 3,100 pounds. Um, that's with me in it. This is 2950 with me in it. And, uh, I had, a, I had a 3,100 pound Monte Carlo S with a, um, Dart Sportsman headed 350 small block, which ran in the mid 12s. And living out where I live, it was competitive for uh, just messing around. Um, so up next, uh, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna see if we can get this car chip away at the ET without taking uh, the valve covers off the engine and. Uh, it's got close to a stock torque converter in it, and the, there's a lot of other places I could pick up some ET. So um, I'm going to plan on making videos about chipping away on the ET um, for, in, uh, for comparison, the Nova over here, I ran the same engine, the Nova, the Nova went 1260 at uh, 108 in the quarter mile. Um, a 791 at 87 in the eighth. And the Nova was 3,000 pounds, but it had a better torque converter 
and it had other things that were definitely superior to the parts that this has. So we're gonna chip we're gonna chip away at the at the ET on the uh, the Mustang, and uh, we're gonna make it. It's gonna weigh three thousand pounds with me in it um, for the videos, so I can be comparable with the Nova. The Nova's gonna weigh three thousand pounds with me, and I'm gonna continue to make videos with the Nova too. Um, so yeah, uh, stay tuned. Uh, I'm gonna try getting out a video at least. Uh, a couple of times a month and uh all right thanks for watching all right a couple quick notes on the car it's got a turbo 350 trans uh tci 2200 stall converter 373 rear gear 27 inch tall tire on the back vortec heads the cam specs on these hos are 212 and 222 intake and exhaust duration at 50,000 lift. Also, I run at a DA density altitude of 500 feet to 2,000 feet. Usually with this car, I'm at an elevation of 700 feet where I'm at. 